Welcome to Math 8. My name is Brian Davidson and I'm going to be your teacher for this course. And I wanted to spend some time showing you around the Moodle course so that you can find the things that you're going to need. Let's start off with the middle section. This is the week at a glance. It's a bit like a calendar. It shows you the dates for the week and then which topics are going to be covered during that time. Next, if we scroll up to the top, you'll see a link called Blackboard Collaborate. If you click that uh, word, Blackboard Collaborate, it will bring you to our Blackboard Collaborate classroom, which is the virtual space where we will meet and work on math together. Basically, it provides you with a whiteboard um, so that we can demonstrate some math skills and also a, a place for us to have PowerPoint lessons to demonstrate some of the topics we'll be covering, as well as some other features that will allow us to learn uh, better. Over on the right hand side is a button called Ngrade. When you click that button you'll be taken to a login page where you'll log in and you'll be able to see your current marks and the progress that you're making in your course. It'll show you if you've got any assignments missing and uh, how you're doing so far. We scroll down a little bit and look over on the left hand side again where it says archived Blackboard Collaborate Lessons. Basically when you click this you'll be brought to a page which shows you the dates and titles of lessons that we've covered already. In case it, that you've missed one and you want to see a recording of that lesson or maybe you want to review some of the material that we covered you basically find the date, click on it and it'll bring you back to a recording of that. If we go back to the course and scroll down a little bit, there are three resources in the middle under the calendar that are useful. The first one says Math 8 Rural Outline. This outlines what the course is about, how it's organized. The second one is a schedule, basically shows you when we're going to be working on which different topics so you can have a look ahead. And finally this last one, Finding Your Way Around Moodle, which includes some videos that will help you uh, figure out how to upload assignments and also this video that you're watching right now. But The main part of the course is uh, found underneath this grid with 12 blocks in it. The instructions at the bottom say click the images above to enter each module. So each module is listed here with an image that represents it. When you hover over the module you'll notice that the cursor turns into a hand icon and that means that it's a clickable link. If I click on the first module, let's say module 1 integers, it'll bring me to all of the material that you'll need for that module. Basically you'll look over on the left hand side there's a table of contents there and it shows you all of the activities that we'll be working on in the order that we'll be doing them. All of the modules include a pretest option which you can choose to take if you think you know quite a bit about a topic already. Basically what happens, you can do the pretest. If you do well on that pretest, it allows you to skip doing certain lessons that maybe you already understand well. Then we can negotiate what you would do with the time that you would be spending in math. Let's say that we wanted to do the lesson or look at the lesson for adding and subtracting integers. Basically we would click the link and it brings us to a new page and um, once that page loads they're all set up pretty well the same way they have the title at the top adding and subtracting integers then there's a little blurb that gives you some information about why we are learning about this topic and um, telling you a little bit about what you'll be learning underneath then we have steps one through five in this case step one almost always is um, an embedded copy of the PowerPoint that I used during the lesson which allows you to review the lesson if you think that would be helpful for you. Underneath that are often some video clips that I've taken down off of YouTube which give you another view or an, uh, another explanation of um, some of the topics or some of the things that we looked at during that lesson just from a different point of view. If we scroll down a little bit further, sometimes there will be a link or a set of links to other websites that talk about this topic or, or games that will help you practice the skills there. And so basically you can go through all of this material to help you learn the information before doing the assignment. The assignment is often a Word document or it could be a little quiz or it might even list pages in the textbook that you'd be working on and questions that you should do. And then there's a place for uploading your assignment to hand it in so that I can mark it. Usually that's the last step on the page. You can either click the arrow to move forward to the next topic or you can go back up and use uh, 
the table of contents to get to the next one. Usually we'll look at one per day. When you're finished you can click the Math 8 Rural um, link there and it'll bring you back to the course and the beginning of it. The front page of our course where you can uh, get to other units if you need to or get anywhere else that you need to in the course. Basically that's how you move around in Moodle for Math 8. If you have any questions please let me know and I'm uh, hoping that you have a great year. Thanks so much.